This installation method relates specifically to the installation of the MCL chamber system, utilising a range of Ultracrete products that are proven to work with this system. The installation method is suitable up to and including Class D400 of BSEN 124 1994 in footways, cycle tracks and Type 2, 3 and 4 carriageways where rapid trafficking is required. Begin by assembling the four sections of each chamber frame using the supplied fitting kit. The nuts and bolts must only be finger tight at this stage as final tightening will take place when the sections are stacked within the trench. MCL chambers are available in clear opening sizes from 450mm to 2800mm by 150mm sections and are recommended for use in verges, highways, valve chambers, metering and electrical duct chambers and access chambers for dosing etc. Mark out an excavation area totalling 2 meters square by 1100 millimeters deep which will allow for the laying of approximately 100 to 150 millimeters for the concrete base and the installation of six sections to give an overall chamber height of 900 millimeters which also allows for the 100 millimeter depth of the ironwork frame and cover. A perimeter area with a minimum length of 250 millimetres and width of 250 millimetres should be excavated around any existing frame in the case of failed installations and in the case of a new installation the minimum length should have a perimeter of 250 millimetres. This perimeter will allow for the use of the compaction machine plate which is generally 225 millimetres wide. Check that the supporting structure is the adequate size and strength and free from debris before commencing installation. The chamber frame will need to be bedded onto a fast setting concrete. Ultracrete QC10F flowable fast set rapid strength concrete is recommended for this purpose. Add the sand mix to a maximum of 2 litres of water. If required an additional 0.25 of a litre can be added. Mix using a hand mixer and gradually add in the cement. Lay the concrete base to SROH guidelines. A minimum of 200mm is recommended. Place the first chamber frame approximately 50mm into the concrete and allow it to cure. The base must receive the required frame within 10 minutes of mixing. Apply the base chamber frame and build the chamber wall using additional chamber frame sections, ensuring there is no debris between. The cover seat should be placed on last and the chamber connecting bolts tightened to 30 Nm. Upon curing of the concrete base, check the levels to the finished surface. Ensure all duct entries or furniture are installed prior to backfilling. Backfill and compact around the chamber frame with MOT Type 1 aggregate to approximately 225mm from the top frame section. Remove the cover seat and ensure that the edges are free from any dust or dirt. Clean and abrade the top surface of the last chamber frame using P60 grit sandpaper. To bed the ironwork frame, a resin mortar is recommended. Slowly add the filler to the resin at the ratio of 1 to 1 in pre-weighed units and mix until homogeneous consistency is obtained. Apply the mixed PY4 resin bedding mortar around the top of the chamber frame and firmly place the cover seat to the bedding mortar. Tamp the ironwork frame into place ensuring that it is level with the surface edge. This is checked by placing a straight edge over the frame and surrounding surface with a maximum tolerance of plus or minus 3 millimeters. To create a smooth finish, use a trowel to remove any excess mortar from the inside of the ironwork frame. Infill any remaining gaps around the external chamber frame and compact into place. Mechanically mix the Ultracrete QC10F adding the unit of cement with the recommended level of water until the desired consistency is obtained. Apply around the cavity within 10 minutes of mixing to a depth of 60mm below the required surface fill level. 
The final surface is then rough floated to achieve a textured level surface ready to receive the Ultracrete instant road repair. Affix the ironwork cover. Close and lock in place. Once the Ultracrete QC10F has reached initial set, all vertical edges of the excavated area and the ironwork frame should be sprayed with Ultracrete seal and tack to prevent water ingress. Pour Ultracrete instant road repair around the edge of the ironwork with a 50% excess. This should then be mechanically compacted down to a depth of 30mm. Compaction should be in accordance to Appendix A8, compaction requirements of the specification for the reinstatement of openings in highways. The installation should not be trafficked for a minimum of one hour following completion of the work described within this specification.